Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, as it is pretty much now autumn, I count September as autumn, um, I thought I would do a nice, quick, simple, easy autumn makeup look for you. Um, as you all know, I'm not very confident when it comes to makeup, so my looks are pretty simple when it comes to eyes, and I like a bold lip, so that's what I've gone for today. Um, the idea behind the eyes is like a gold shimmer, very autumn and um, a nice dark red lip which is definitely my go-to and favourite for autumn and winter seasons. Seasons? Yeah, seasons. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to get straight into it. Normally before I do my makeup, I always love to wash my face and the thing that I've been favouring at the moment is the Neutrogena um, Visibly Clear Pour and Shine um, and this is a mattifying face wash so it mattifies your skin um, and it smells like tangerine and lime. I love using this in the morning, it's so fresh on your face and it really wakes me up, I love it. But if I'm lazy and I prefer a lion, I will use the um, Garnier Micellar Water or any Micellar Water, it doesn't have to be the Garnier, but this is my favourite at the moment, just to make sure my face is clean and I'm just going to use it right now. I don't use very much, I literally just put it on um, a cotton pad, soak it in and then just really quickly gently wipe it over my face. I have used the um, Neutrogena wash today as well, so I don't really need to, I'm just wanting to get the excess off. And then, we'll wait for it to dry. Another thing I really like to do in the winter months is, well in the summer as well, but in the winter more, is to moisturise my face. Now this is the um, Nivea Express Hydration Primer Moisturiser. Um, so this is like a two-in-one, this is great if you're lazy like me. And I hate using more, uh, like primers, I just never give myself time to use a primer. Whereas this is two in one, it's a moisturiser and it's a primer, so just saving time, aren't you? Also, Nivea products always smell so good. I love the smell of Nivea stuff. This soaks in really quick as well, so you don't have to wait for it to for ages for it to dry. Um, it dries nice and quick once your skin soaks in. And then you wait for that to dry, which doesn't take very long. Um, another thing I like to do before I do my makeup is I like to just put like a really thin layer of powder over my face. Um, I find I have quite red skin as you can see um, and I just find putting a bit of powder on the bottom like layer of my face makeup, if that makes sense, just kind of evens out, evens out, evens out the um, skin tone a bit before. Uh, the powder that I'm using is the Rimmel Stay Matte in Transparent. Um, this kind of technique is better with a loose powder, but I don't have a loose powder and I'm not really going to pay for two different types of powder, so I just use that. It works fine. Not as good, but it works fine. Next, I like to do my eyebrows, and for that I'm using the Isla um, in medium blonde, I think. It's the eyebrow pencil with a little brush on the end, and the Gimme Brow by Benefit. This is the light one. Um, I kind of do my makeup in a really random order. I do like my, all my eye makeup first, then I'll do my foundations and things if I'm wearing foundation that day. Um, and then I'll go back and like finish off my eyes. A bit random, but you'll see how it works. I like doing it that way. I just find putting like eye makeup on first and then putting like your base makeup on kind of tidies up your eye makeup. Like if you're, especially if you're using like an eyeshadow and things. Just tidies up the edges a bit. I don't go too dramatic on the eyebrows, I'm not a massive fan of really dark, like, these are my eyebrows kind of eyebrows. Um, I feel like to keep them kind of natural, so this is as much as I do on my eyebrows. I am using the um, Maybelline Colour Tattoo in Bronze on Bronze as my base. I absolutely love these um, eyeshadows. I just use my little ring finger, put it on, and then dab it on my eye. I love these because they just keep your eyeshadow on oh, more. Dropped it. They keep your eyeshadow in place like all day pretty much and you get, they're so easy to like build. So I just like to build it like this. You can build it up to as dark as you like. Just like that. And then the other eye. I like to put um, a little bit more in the corners, like the outer corner, 
because um, I blend it out afterwards. But I just think it adds a little bit more of a definition. So don't worry if that's really messy, it's not a problem. Um, I then take, this is a concealer buffing brush, but <laughs> I like how it works, it's from Zoeva. Um, and then just blend out the edges of that, just to kind of soften them. Don't touch the eyelid, keep that nice and, nice and bright. Yeah. And then I'm just going to go in again with my pinky finger this time with a little bit more of it just because I want it to be a little bit more obvious than it is right now. Just around the bottom. So you don't have to blend it out again. Like that. I love doing makeup, I'm just really don't think I'm very good at it so I keep everything really simple I'd love to go for like full out bright eyes but I kind of usually end up like I've just punched myself um anyway under with that I use Kiko and this one is it doesn't have a colour name it's kind of a number so it's number three but it's just like a marbled effect goldy bronze hopefully you can see that I absolutely adore Kiko eyeshadows they're so easy to use, they're really high pigmented, they last m all day what I find on top of like a cream eyeshadow and their colours are amazing and they are so cheap, like if you're really new to makeup and you just want to, you're just starting out, I would highly recommend Kiko as like your starter kit just because their products are really good but they're really really affordable, like I think this eyeshadow is like £2.50, it's crazy and it doesn't look like I've touched it gonna last ages because you just don't need that much at all okay the brush that I use for that by the way if I haven't said is the Luxe Soft Definer from Zoeva and then I'm gonna go in um, with the Luxe Petite crease just to put a little bit more in the crease you might think that's a bit weird but I feel like I just get a bit more of an accurate um, placement if I do it this way Like that. I'm hoping this is all showing up on camera. Really liking how it looks at the moment. Okay, I'll oh, left this one in my drawer. Camera's gonna shake. Then I like to go in. This is another Kiko. This is in Infinity 201, and it's literally a cream eyeshadow. There's like tiny, tiny bits of glitter in it, like minute bits of glitter. And I just use this as a highlight defining around the top of my eye. On the inner corner, just because I tend to get quite dark on the inner corners. I don't get eye like eye bags as such. I get dark eyes, so around the inside of, um, more around the inside of my eye than under my eye. If that makes sense. I'm sure it does make sense. I go on to mascara. The one that I'm using at the moment is the YSL. Um, it's their Volume Effect mascara. This was my naughty purchase last month and I'm loving this mascara a lot. It is a lot of money, I think it was £25, which is crazy, and I wouldn't normally spend that money on a mascara at all, but definitely worth it if you can afford it. I love this mascara. I find it really hard to talk while they're putting mascara on. Probably, it's probably the most unflattering facial expressions as well, so enjoy. like that and then onto the other eye it's a really nice mascara to build as well you like you can put a light um, layer on and then, then go back over it and it builds really really nicely also I'm um, I fail immensely at keeping mascara off of my eyelids really annoying. I've got quite long eyelashes so it's really hard to be able to put mascara on the full length without getting a little bit on your eyelids but it drives me nuts. If anyone's got any advice for that I'd be, it's very welcome. But I've tried everything like a lot of people have said, oh look down while you're doing your mascara. Nope that doesn't work. You still end up with mascara on the eyelids. <laughs> Okay, so 
so that is my mascara done for now. I now leave, I now leave my bottom lashes and do my face. You're probably like, this is a really weird way to do your makeup. Yeah, it is, but it works for me. That's why I do it. Um, so I don't really wear a foundation, I just wear a concealer and I just put it where I tend to go red throughout the day. So under my eyes, down the side of my nose, on my nose, and then on my cheek and around my Georgia skin. Do it on my chin, why not? And then I blend that in with either the blending sponge, which I really like, but today I'm feeling a brush and I use the Silk Finish by Zoeva. concealer just under me up in the mirror, under my eyes and around my nose just because that's where my skin really does go red as you can still see it's red just around here like that I get quite flushed don't really need blusher because I've got my own natural blusher just like that I think I'm getting a cold I think everyone at work has had a cold and I'm the only one who hasn't had it and I feel like it's coming. I don't want a cold. I haven't had a cold actually, like a proper full out cold for so long. You know, I've jinxed it now, I'm definitely going to get a cold on my neck so you're going to have like the flu or something. <laughs> um, then I just like to press around my eyes gently just to make sure it's all like blended in nicely. Okay, then I like to go back in with mascara. I told you I have a really weird way of doing my makeup. I just like to top off the top lashes a little bit just to make them a bit thicker and darker and then I do my bottom lashes. Like that. I really want to get um, the LVL lash treatment done again. Okay. Do you always get lashes that go, one goes side goes really nicely and the other side just kind of looks like spazzed out spider's legs? Yeah, I always go out. Anyway, um, I really want to get the LVO lash treatment again. I got it like last Christmas, I think. It stands for um, length, volume, lift, I think. Um, but yeah, I had it done last Christmas. And basically, they tint your eyelashes and curl them. But it's different, apparently it's different having your eyelashes actually curled. Like, I don't know, I think it's the chemical that they use or something. Something's different in it from having your lashes normally curled. But it was amazing and it lasted so long. I actually got it as a Christmas present and loved it. Crazy. I'd have it done again. In fact, I want to have it done again because it makes life so much easier. But I feel like I want it, this bit has me. I feel like I want to get it again in the summer because then, like in the winter I like quite bold dark eyes with my mascara, but in the summer I like to keep it really subtle and with the LVL treatment you don't need to put mascara on at all and that's what I like in the summer. Quick and easy. So yeah, uh, next, I should have done this before I put my mascara on but I forgot. Uh, this is the, it's a Jelly Pong Pong eyeliner and I just put it on my tight line um, I don't like it on my waterline just because my eyes are quite small and um, it can make them look smaller if I've got too much like eyeliner on. So I just put it on my tight line normally before I do mascara, but I forgot. Also, this is another beautiful facial expression that you can all enjoy. I just like to do it so I just think it makes the lashes look a bit fuller and also it kind of makes them, what am I trying to say? Sometimes when you put mascara in you get like that little gap between your eyelid and your mascara because you don't want to go too close to your eye. Is that just me? Probably just me. Uh, but yeah, so I find it just kind of blends the mascara in a bit better if you blend mascara probably not. Yeah. Okay. So that is it for my eyes. I did tell you it was nice and subtle and simple. Anyone could do this look on the eyes and you don't have to do it in gold. You can do it in any other color, obviously. Um, I just like browns and golds because of my blue eyes. I just think brown goes really well with blue eyes, so yes. Anyway, onto the rest of my face. 
Um, I then, in autumn, I still like to use a bronzer just because everyone is normally nicely tanned from their holidays and I just don't tan so it doesn't look like I've been on holiday. So I do still use a bronzer but I use this one which is from Collection, it's one of their mosaic ones. Um, I use this one because you have the like darker brown for the bronzer but there's also pinks in there so it does make it work as more of a blusher as well. So you get the best of both worlds with these ones. So yeah, I just take the um, sheer cheek brush from Zoeva, obviously, what are you going to say? Slap my cheeks in and off I go. I don't use very much. I just like to use it because it gives me a little bit more colour in my cheeks. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I've got like a weird red mark there and I I don't really know why. Mm. Mm. Okay. Um, then I'll go back in with my powder just to, woo, just to set it all. Uh, with the Zoe powder brush. I don't put powder, like a lot of powder on my forehead. I put more around my face and then what's left off at my forehead purely because my forehead's quite dry, it's where my skin is quite dry, like around my nose and my chin gets quite greasy, but my forehead is quite dry, so I don't like to put a lot on there, um, purely because it doesn't, it like cracks a bit and you can see all the lines and it's not a great look, so I don't really go there, but I just put a little bit on just to make sure it stays matte. Okay, on to the lips. So the lipstick that I'm going to be using was a birthday present from the boyfriend's sister, and she has very good taste. I can't get out. She got me. Come on, come on. Oh, it's because I opened it the wrong way around. Oh well. Um, she got me a NARS lipstick. This is in the color Mas Mas Mascot. Mascot. Yep. Um, and it is an absolutely beautiful dark red. Like. It's insane. This is my first Minaj product and I'm so glad it was this lipstick. Thank you, Lindsay. I absolutely love it. I don't know if you watch my videos or not, probably not. Um, but yeah, just I just love dark red lips at this time of year. I think they're beautiful with whether you go for like a browny red or an orangey red or like a purpley red. Just I love them. So this is the one I'm going for today. Oh, they're so pigmented. That's good look, isn't it? Maybe I should leave it like that. probably use an eyeliner with this too, but eyeliner? Mm -mm. Lip liner. But I don't have one in this colour. Oh, that went a bit bizarre, didn't it? It's a funny lip shape right there. better at doing lipstick. I'm not amazing but I'm improving. Finger trick. If you don't know what that is, stick your finger in your mouth, cut it out, get rid of the lipstick that would possibly go on your teeth. I've always used that, I can't even remember who told me that. Someone told me that. Probably mum or the grandmum. Who knows? Okay. So yeah, there you go. That's it. Super, super simple, easy to do. I just love a bold lip and a really subtle eye. I just think it works really well for me. It keeps my eyes nice and big. Um, and I'm just adoring bold red lips at the moment. And the NARS one's absolutely beautiful. This is a matte one, which I'm more of a fan of than a, like, I'm not a lip, lip glossy kind of person. I much prefer the matte look on the lips. So that's what I go for. And this one lasts forever and through everything. So highly recommend NARS lipsticks if you are looking for a more high end, high street kind of lipstick and you don't want to go MAC because everyone goes MAC, try NARS. social media links are down below and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!